Living in Kampung Pogwokon Ulu Tenom and from the Murut Tagol tribe, Inchi Pongonot Ingang, who is 87 years old, is one of these indigenous herbal healers. Nama saya Pongolot Piningang, di Kampung Pogwokon Ulu, di Tenom. Bangsa saya Murut Tagol. Umur saya masa sekarang ini jam lah. Baru... He is married to Limau Bintikeri, who is 73 years old and is also from the Murutago tribe and used to be a village midwife during her younger days. They have 11 children, 5 sons and 6 daughters. He has gained his knowledge from his grandmother who used to treat him when he was sick. Only one of his children, named Mamad, who is 54 years old, has acquired most of the herbal healing knowledge from his father. Herbs used for remedies for various ailments are scarce because they normally involve the use of the roots, leaves and barks of the plants, while flowers, fruits and seeds are only available at certain times of the year. Hence, finding healing herbs in Tanam requires travelling from Tanam town via Jalan Kimabong to Kampung Tilis, then proceed to Kampung Tolokoson before reaching Kampung Salaril. The whole journey by a four-wheel drive vehicle will take about six hours. Despite his age, Inchi Pongonot is still full of energy and ardently guided us through this journey. Sharing his invaluable herbal knowledge and experience, he illuminated the usage and benefits of some of the herbal plants. The bark and roots of this herbal plant are used as a remedy for general malaise by drying them for a week, boiling them for an hour, cooling the decoction and then drink. It has a similar taste to tea. The crushed Lindos roots are boiled and used as a steam bath. The aromatic steam is used to cure the person who is suffering from cold and fever. The root smells like the massage oil. The stem of a herbal medicine plant called lalarit is used for stomachache, diarrhea and even rectal bleeding. Eating the soft stem or by boiling the leaves and the stems and drinking the decoction after cooling it, according to him, can be an instant remedy for these ailments. Boil these leaves and stems for about an hour. And when the decoction is cool, drink it and you will be fine in just five minutes. The stem of this plant is used for improving the immune system and as a cure for food poisoning and having allergies to certain food. He said after drying it, burn the stem and mix the ashes with soup or other food and then you can eat whatever you like. The leaves can be boiled as well, and the decoction can be taken after it is cooled. This herbal medicine, according to him, can also reduce leprosy. And it is not readily available and very hard to find in villages and towns. According to his traditional belief, the Kamagas plant stem is used to ward off malignant spirits and balan balan. Allah 
Balan Balan is a close cousin of the Western Empire. Balan Balan are human beings with a predilection for blood from mothers who have just given birth. They would usually suck dry the new mother as well as a newborn child. To prevent this from happening, village folks always crush some lime leaves, tying them in a porch around the naval areas of mother and child. The name of this herbal plant is Bavas Rasampal. Its root is used to cure jaundice. However, it has a very bitter taste. According to his traditional belief, they came to know about this plant from a bird. A hornbill had lost its feathers because of poison, so it felt weak and could not fly. However, after it bit the plant, it slowly recovered. These roots of her plant, called pilanka, is used to cure diarrhea. This is done by boiling the roots and drinking the decoction. This herb is used for improving the strength of a person's teeth so that they would last longer. This is done by burning its stem, mixing the ashes with porridge and consume. The stem has a bitter taste. This process should start at the beginning of the new baby's teething. According to him, chewing the soft stem regularly when a person grows up can keep the teeth in good condition up to the age of 60. These roots are used for treatment of urinary tract disorders and as a diuretic. Dry them, burn them, and then mix the ashes with porridge and then consume. This climbing herbal plant stem is to treat stomach ache. His grandmother used to cut a small piece and soak it in water and gave it to him to drink. Like many of the herbal healers, he hopes that his invaluable knowledge can be handed down to the younger generation. Uh, such knowledges about herbal medicine are only held by older people, older people, uh, with the young uh, more interested in medicines that they call coming from the clinic, uh, clin pergi clinic, or go to the clinic when they are ill. But when you talk to the older people, the tremendous, um, uh, the vocabulary and the volume of knowledge that they have in these villages where the young are not interested are so fantastic that they have a range of use uh, and types of medicine ranging from the usual cough and cold and headache and stomach problem to um, high modern ones such as high blood pressure um, and then uh, of course uh, the kind of medicine that we don't normally uh, think about such as which is very important for rural areas after a long day of extracting the herbs he felt like joining his kampung community for a traditional murut tagol dance